Yes, it is a legend, an icon, and proudly Canadian. Please welcome Oscar-nominated director and producer Ivan Reitman. It's so good to see you. Happy tip. Hello, hello. hello. Good morning. Thank good you for morning. getting up early. I know you were hitting the party circuit last night. A little bit. You it's know? only the first night, so energy's still here. Pace it's, yourself. And this is not your first tip. And no, this is probably my 40th. Tiff. I was wow. at the very first one. When it was a weed little festival. That's right. I was just a starting off filmmaker. And it's amazing how important the festival has been to the city and to Canadian filmmakers. And to the world now, internationally. Should we start off with asking the rumor? Oh, go Kev. Okay. Ask the rumor. Rumor has it. Rumor has it that you at one time got your start at City TV many years ago and that Moses Neimer and you did not see eye to eye and that you were let go Within a true year? or false? Yes, it's true. It's true. It's my one and only job, actually, uh, since I was in college. I've managed to be entrepreneurial and not work for anybody except for Moses, who had just began City TV. And we were actually friendly and stayed friends all through these years. Uh, I shouldn't have been here. That's That was really the... Uh, I wasn't good at that, you know, working for a lot of people. Hold on, he fired you? He fired Ivan Reitman? He absolutely for did fire me. Moses, <laughs> you know what? Moses right now is smiling, though. No, <laughs> no, no, no I was smiling. I was the one who smiled. I actually fired told Ivan him Reitman. many times, hey, man, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you credit your success to him because he led you down the well, right I'm path. Well, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> For example, producing, and Kev asked a great question. Like, on top of all of the brilliant comedies you've directed, what is the producer role? What does that entail to produce? Well, we pray and we dream. <laughs> you know, uh, you're looking after everything. And if you're a creative uh, producer, and I, I'd like to think that I'm that way because I direct, basically. And so I've got plenty to say. But... It's really to uh, take care of not only the fiscal plant, but to look at the big, big picture. A lot of times when we direct, we're on that set and we're so worried about this 30 seconds and getting it just right, and then you sort of lose track of, you know, where does this picture. all fit in and well, like it's Ghostbusters, worth it. Kev. Like Ghostbusters, right? You're, you uh -huh. you want to you want to sort of stir the pot here a little well, bit. Well, you stir the pot this morning. You said you'd ask him. He's here. He's Why? ready. Why are you rebooting Ghostbusters? Leave it alone. I love Ghostbusters. And I say, I, yay, I, bring it on. I Girl love, power, Kristen Wiig. Hi, I Kristen, love the here. original cast, and no, it's not because it's a female cast at all. I just I love the original cast. I worry about bringing it back again. Do you know, just you before we started, we'd start talking about aging. <laughs> well, look, unfortunately, we lost one of our Ghostbusters yeah. who passed away last year, Harold Ramis. God bless him. And, um, I, uh, you know, I did try to do that over the last three years. And, uh, you know, Bill really has sort of gone through this extraordinary metamorphosis as an actor and was not that interested uh, in being a Ghostbuster again. He had other things to do. Harold was gone. You know, and you know, and we're all getting a little bit older, and I think it it required, and there was an extraordinary love for the project. I just can't believe how much Ghostbusters is spoken about today, even though the movie is originally like 35 years old now. And that's how I know it will be a huge success, because there's so much buzz about it, even with the millennials who are perhaps not familiar with or now watching the original because they can't wait and anticipate the yeah. stellar cast. Well, Dan Aykroyd be in the film because I noticed even on IMDb it says rumored but his picture is there and I know you know producer so let us hear it Ivan will well, he be in the there's film there's some lovely surprises in the movie and that's yes <laughs> that's and there, you know people who are going to miss them will not miss them so much <laughs> and you're going to be seeing a ton of your friends who you've worked with in many films over the years during TIFF Montecito your restaurant you were actually sitting with us one year ago today and you're announcing the launch. Now, not only is it a huge success all year long, but it is the hot spot for TIFF. So congratulations. And what yeah. can we expect this year? Well, it's fun. I mean, I was there last night, and the place was jammed. And, you know, people, what I, the one thing I wanted when we started is, of course, good food, hopefully, but also a, a place that had the kind of energy that you just wanted to go to, both in the neighborhood or if you're coming in from out of town. And um, we've we managed to capture that, and that's, I think, the hardest thing to find. People seem to just like to hang out there. The vibe. Yeah. Did, you, did you put your director cap on, so to speak, when you were helping to plan Montecito? Uh, or um, even a producer Yeah, cap? I can't help myself. Yeah. Well, I did the lighting, and the lighting really turned out to be very important. You did the lighting. Important. Yes, I, very important. Yeah, because most restaurants, I find, 
particularly in Toronto, have terrible lighting. And, you know, women don't look as beautiful as they can be. You know, it's all top lit and, you know, it's so the shadows under their eyes. I just wanted it to be really a pleasant place. And I hear there's a secret door. Where's the secret door? <laughs> Just between you and me. Is <laughs> well, there a secret door? There is a door in which people, I think, you know, for example, I think tonight um, we have George Clooney and Sandra Bullock coming. Oh, and name so, drop. Um, oh, you name know, drop. <laughs> name drop. Or, <laughs> no, we've got, I think, three big parties in a row through a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night where, unfortunately, the restaurant is closed to the general public, which I don't like. I actually like it like last night where yeah. it's just wide open and people are just crowding in. I, I, I want to I wanna thank you. Um, on behalf of Toronto and on behalf of Canada, because you still carry that Canadian flag with you wherever sure you go. Uh, uh, look, my son, you know, who's Jason, here is yeah. Uh, yeah. Jason, who's made some wonderful movies. Uh, um, he doesn't have an American passport. He, you know, he was born here uh, in Montreal. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> yes, right. of course. And you, um, you know, he's. It's kind of a. It's an important thing for me, and we've of course kept our passports as well. But he hasn't even. Apply for U.S. citizenship. What do you think then? And I, I, I'd like to know. I didn't warn you. I was going to ask this, but what do you think then of, of people like Donald Sutherland not being allowed to vote this time around? They've changed the election rules. Oh, I didn't. You know, it shows you how ignorant I am. I didn't even know that. That's well, he, because he's no longer a resident. He's not a resident, but he still holds his Canadian citizenship. Yeah, so that would be true of me as well. What uh, do you think of that? Um, well. Uh, that seems to be the rule now in many Western democracies. So who am I to sort of fight that concept uh, for Canada? I guess the sense is the people that are here on a daily basis um, should be the right to make those decisions. Well, thank you so much for yeah. being here this morning. I know you're super busy and you've got a lot on the go. Looking forward to Ghostbusters. Looking Me forward too. to Baywatch with The Rock. And <laughs> looking forward to Triplets, the no follow-up to Twins. <laughs> well, there's talk of that, but I don't think that... We are, we're starting a movie called Pastards. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the third, though? That's you get right. Schwarzenegger, DeVito, and... Question I mark. I don't know Kevin about Kevin Frankish? That's thank right. You. Go check That's out right. Montecito at 299 Adelaide Street. And I'm going to say it. What? I am now looking forward to Ghostbusters. Yay! Oh, you'll be happy. All All right. I promise you, you'll be okay, happy. Okay, as long as hey. it's a promise, you can take that one to the bank from my Who are you going to call? Ivan, Ivan. Reitman. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Let's uh, head back.